I'm Tom Johnson, Thomas Johnson, Antique Furniture Restoration in Gorham, Maine. These are two knives and two cheese slicers we found at a flea market. Really nice examples of mid-century design. They were designed uh, for dance by Torn, Vivian Torn Bulo Hube, a Swedish master silversmith. The round handles fit into a corresponding hollowed out part on a cutting board to make a set. These handles are all here, they're not in horrible shape, except I suspect they've been run through a dishwasher many, many times, they're completely dried out and need to be refinished. One of the handles, though, has a bad burn mark, and we're going to have to deal with that. So the first thing I want to do is take care of this burnt handle. I think what I want to do is chisel out that burnt part, and I've got some nice uh, tight grain teak here. That if I can get it in there correctly, it ought to match pretty well. Okay, I'm getting down to good wood here, but I think I want to keep going until all the burn part is gone. It's not, it's still a little punky. Now, interesting, there seems to be a, a void here. Uh, I guess. But I also seem to be coming into what might be a rivet, too. I'm a little unsure. I think I'll proceed. I'm a little unsure about that rivet, especially. I'll have to proceed carefully. The rivet doesn't seem to be metal. It seems to be wood. And I'm thinking that I'm going to fill that void rather than keep cutting. I need to go a little bit further to get rid of the burn on that side of it, but once that's done, I think I'll just fill it and then glue in my plug. Okay, so now I'll set my timer for five minutes. I want to chisel that before it's completely hard. I'll try it in about five minutes. In the meantime, I can start getting my, I've got to orient this piece of wood and cut it so that it fits in there. Okay, so let me chisel that. All right, now back to my piece I'm gonna put in there. A little bit a little bit wide. I'm not sure about my grain orientation. I think I'm not I think I have to cut another piece. I don't think my grain is exactly right. Yeah I like this orientation better. I think if I can I need to square up my sides on the on the sander, but then I think uh, I think I'll have it. Okay, I think I've got this pretty well now. I've been back and forth to the sander a half a dozen times, taking off so little each time. I think it fits pretty well, but the last time I was fitting it, a little chip came up, and I'm going to glue that down. First. You know, while I'm struggling to get this piece back where it belongs, I began to realize that right next to it, there's more chip out that I didn't notice before. I think that what I've got to do now, with that chipping right there, I've got to redo this whole thing. I got to, I got to bring my cut back to here. and then cut a wider piece to fit in there. I've been back and forth to the sander a few times, making minor adjustments, but I think it's good. I think it's really tight. I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. I still have a little bit of chipping 
in that same area, but I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm going to glue this down. And maybe I'll have to fill it a little bit. We'll see. I'm going to use uh, waterproof glue because this is a kitchen utensil, so it's bound to come in contact with water. Okay, I'll let that dry overnight, and uh, tomorrow we'll see what we got. Okay, let's do it. thing about this job is that as I shape this down I cannot hit the metal not even once okay now I'll switch to uh, sandpaper start with some 60 grit okay so now I'm ready to uh, switch to 100 grit but I think first I'm going to I'm going to tape off this metal around the wood uh, as a visual aid, and uh, it won't really prevent damage, but it might give me a little bit of uh, a little bit of a grace warning uh, as I sand close to these edges. So I'm going to sand this with a hundred then 150, then 220. I've got to do the other side. I also have to do the other three utensils. After I've done that, we'll get back to, we'll see what the, how the color of my patch matches the rest of the wood and what, if anything, uh, we're going to do about it. Okay, I've got all four utensils sanded down to 220. So now I'm going to remove the tape and apply the first coat. I'm going to brush on the first coat uh, and keep it wet for a while so it'll really soak in, but then I will just wipe this off. I'm not trying to build up a shiny coat. My patch is a little lighter. When I sanded this wood, all of them turned a little darker, but that's okay. I, if anything, I want my patch to be lighter. I'll stain it a little bit more after the first coat. I'm not worried about uh, finish getting on the metal. I'll wipe it with a little bit of paint thinner now while I'm watching these handles and, uh, and, and wetting the wood out wherever I see it drying. So as I see it drying and soaking in, like here on the end grain, I'm just going to add more finish. I'll do this for 15 or 20 minutes, keep it wet. Okay, this is, uh, I've been keeping it wet, but it's soaked in so well, I don't really need to wipe off the wood. I'm just going to wipe off the metal again one more time, and, uh, and that'll be it for today. Okay, I've let these dry overnight, but now I've got to address the uh, issue of the color of my patch. I'm disappointed how light it is. On the other hand, if I went to redo it, I don't have any teak that dark either. It's more like the color of walnut. The first thing I'm going to do is I've sanded up a piece of teak and I'm going to test my stains to get this color. Then I'm going to clean this down with lacquer thinner and when it dries I'm going to sand it again with 220. Then I'll stain my patch and give it another coat of oil. Okay, now I'm going to let this dry for a while and then I may sand around this bottom edge a little bit. I just went over just a tad. I'd let this dry for about an hour. I'm going to put some oil on it. I might have to put a little more stain right there. I've let this coat dry overnight. It's looking good. I'm going to put a little more color in this one little spot right here. I'm going to let that dry and then I'll apply 
uh, second coat, and I think the final coat, to all the handles. Now with this coat, I'm going to wet sand with, with 600 paper using the, the oil. Now this side, with my patch, I'm not going to sand. And now I'm just wiping them just gently with this paper towel. Alright. There are your four torn utensils by Dansk. Really two pairs. A spreader and a cheese slicer. You know when they came in the, the wood looked terrible. It looked like they'd been run to a dishwasher. Please don't put wooden utensils, wooden handles, or knives in your dishwasher. I had to patch that one that was burned really badly. I think it looks pretty good. Perfect.